Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Avery and today I'm going to be talking about all of the ebooks that I downloaded in September. <laughs> So I actually downloaded six books in the month of September. I actually downloaded more than six books, but a couple of the ones that I'm not going to share with you today are for a secret video that will be out, I believe maybe in October if I get it done fast. We will see. A few of the, I think maybe four of the books that I downloaded in September are part of a secret video that I will be showing with y'all later, um, but we're not going to be talking about those today. Uh, we're going to be talking about six different ones that I can talk to you about today. If you are new to this series, I really love to download ebooks. Most of the books that I download are free on, Ken are on Kindle Unlimited or are only 99 cents. I very rarely get books that are more than 99 cents on my Kindle. I am here to share with y'all some books that you can maybe get for free or for cheap or for Kindle Unlimited. So let's get started. Like usual, I'm just going to be reading the summary for y'all because I don't know anything about these books. The first book that I'm going to talk about today is Her Beast by Nicole Casey. At the time, this was free, but it is on Kindle Unlimited right now. So you can download it for free if you have Kindle Unlimited or you can buy it for $3.99. At the time though, it was on sale for $0. So I stole that deal. <laughs> this is the first in Beauty and the Captor series and it is 214 pages. A dark beast, a disenchanted beauty, and a dangerous game of lust that she can't resist. Derek, beautiful, pure, flawless. The girl made my body burn with lust. I'm the monster from her nightmares. And Scarlet, she's still an innocent, naive, and uncorrupted doll. She's about to lose everything. She just doesn't know it yet. Scar, captured, taken, about to be broken. That was when my life changed forever, forced into a world full of darkness and terror, where there is no sight, where there is no sound, only a dangerous and beautiful beast in the dark. He is punishing me for every mistake I make. He is training me, preparing me for what's going to happen next. Slowly, my body is learning to crave. His dominant voice, his gentle touch, his acts of kindness, it's hot and forbidden, but somehow familiar. And now he's about to claim the one thing I am not ready to give my soul. It says, warning, dark, dirty, forbidden, and hot as hell. <laughs> um, that sounds really good. Beauty and the Beast retelling. I haven't read an actual Beauty and the Beast retelling in a while now, so I may be up to reading this one soon. The next book that I got was Against the Rules by Laura Hefferman. I downloaded this through NetGalley. I requested it and it got sent to me. This isn't out until October 15th. It is the second book in the Gamer Girls series. So I read this in September. Didn't enjoy it, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, this is about a girl who li who works in a gaming store, like board games. And um, it's about her and her forbidden relationship with her best friend's father. And it's actually not just about that. That's maybe 10% of this book. So the summary kind of led me astray because that was not what this book was mainly about. So that's all I gotta say about this book and we're gonna move on. <laughs> Next is another book that I got off of NetGalley. We have The Dating Charade by Melissa Ferguson. You can pre-order this for $16. It doesn't come out till December 3rd of this year. I haven't read this one yet. So I don't know my thoughts about it. Just when you think you've met your match, the charade begins. Cassie Everson is an expert at escaping bad first dates. And after years of meeting, greeting, and running from the men who tried to woo her, Cassie is almost ready to retire her hopes for a husband and children altogether. But fate has other plans and Cassie's online dating profile catches the eye of firefighter Jet Bentley. In Jet's memory, Cassie Everson is the unreachable girl of legend from their high school days. Nervously, he messages her, setting off a chain of events that forces a reluctant Cassie back into the dating game. No one is more surprised than Cassie when her first date with Jet is a knockout, but when they both go home and find three children dropped off in their laps each, they independently decide to do the right, thi right and mature thing, hide the kids from each other while sorting it out. What could go wrong? Melissa Ferguson's hilarious and warm-hearted debut reminds us that love can come in very small packages and that sometimes our best laid plans aren't nearly as rewarding and fun as the surprises that come our way. That sounds really cute and really interesting. I wonder what the whole they get three kids each means. I'm really curious about that. I really want to know 
more about this book. I really can't wait to read this one. So I'm probably maybe gonna read this one in October. So I'm excited. Also the cover is freaking gorgeous, by the way. I love it. Next is the last book that I downloaded from NetGalley. We have The Body Painter by Pepper Winters. It doesn't have the page number listed here, but it is $3.99 on Kindle. I believe you can buy it now. Must be slim, able to stand for long periods of time and be impervious to the cold. The headline caught my attention. Hours are negotiable. Pay is minimal, clothing absolutely forbidden. The second line piqued my curiosity. Able to hold your bladder and tongue, refrain from opinions or suggestions, and be the perfect living canvas. The third made me scowl. Other attributes required, not ticklish, contortionist, and obedient, must also be studied while naked in a crowd. The fourth made me shudder. Call or email your skin his canvas if interested in applying. The final made my heart race. I should have kept scrolling past the advertisement. I should have applied for the boring receptionist job at minimum wage. I should have clicked on any other job where I got to keep my clothes on, but I didn't. I applied. My interview is tomorrow. That sounded super interesting to me. I guess this is about a guy who actually body paints on people and maybe she's like a work of art and people come and see his art on this person. That sounded really interesting to me, so I for sure requested it and I got it sent to me. <laughs> Next is Releasing Rage by Cynthia Sachs. This is number one in Cyborg Sizzle series. This is still free, zero bucks, um, and it is 195 pages. Half man, half machine, all hers. Rage, the humanoid alliance most primitive cyborg, has two goals. Kill all of the humans on his battle station and escape to the homeland. The warrior has seen the darkness in others and himself. He believes that's all he's been programmed to experience until he meets Joan. Joan, the battle station's first female engineer, has one goal, survive long enough to help the big sexy cyborg plotting to kill her. Rage might not trust her, but he wants her. She sees the passion in his eyes, the caring in his battle-worn hands, the gruff emotion in his voice. When Joan survives the unthinkable, Rage's priorities are tested. Is there enough room? in the cyborg's heart for both love and revenge. That sounded good. I haven't read any books involving cyborgs since Cinder. So I want to read a romance book involving cyborgs because I haven't done that yet. So I'm excited for this one as well. Next and last is a book that I downloaded on Kindle Unlimited. This is Defy by LJ Shen. This was back when I wanted to read the whole Sinners of Saint series, but I honestly don't know if I'm actually going to continue. I read the first three and they were all like three stars for me. So I don't know. I kind of wanted to learn about one of the characters though and he is in this prequel book. So we will see. Yeah, this is the prequel in the Center of Saints series. It is 165 pages. It is on Kindle Unlimited. It says this can be read as a standalone as well. So just let you know. My name is Melody Green and I have a confession to make. I slept with my student, a senior in high school multiple times. I slept with my student and I enjoyed it. I slept with my student and I'd do it all over again if I could turn back time. My name is Melody Green and I got kicked out of my position as a teacher and did my walk of shame a la Cersei Lannister from the principal's office minutes after said principal threatened to call the cops on me. My name is Melody Green and I did something bad because it made me feel good. Here is why it was totally worth it. I haven't read a student teacher relationship in like a long time or I've never read one before actually. I don't even remember, but I'm not really, <laughs> I don't really enjoy reading student teacher relationships, especially in a high school. So I honestly don't know why I downloaded this. I don't know if I'm actually gonna get to this. <laughs> Let me know down below if you've read this book. Let me know if you actually enjoyed it. Anyways, there you go. Those were six books that I downloaded in the month of September. Again, let me know if you've read any of these books or if you plan to. What were your thoughts on them? Anyways, thank y'all so much for watching and I will see y'all soon in the next one. Bye!